our next speaker will also speak about uh, vaguely wireless security uh, and stuff. That, after password, this is antivirus. This is Francois Deschel, and it will talk about Amardito. Let's applaud him. Thank you. So, uh, Armadito is an antivirus project which is quite young because we are on GitHub since uh, May uh, last year. And uh, thanks to Anne, uh, who gave me the idea of making a one year celebration. One year celebration will be next May, probably in Paris. So, what it is? It's a project of developing an antivirus which is completely open source. It's backed by TechLib, which is a French uh, editor. Uh, located in Paris and focusing only on open source. Uh, briefly about the licenses, it's a mix of uh, LGPL, GPL and Microsoft Public License, which is an open source recognized license. This because of a Windows driver, which is used for real-time protection. Uh, some original feature, which I'll talk about a little bit later, is that it's a modular ant uh, antivirus. It aims to be multi-platform, yet uh, Linux and Windows. It offers standard antivirus functionalities, that is on-demand scan of files and directory, uh, putting uh, detected files in a quarantine area, uh, raising alerts, having a journal of event, of course, and offers real-time protection, which means that it can intercept any file open in a specified directory and scan file before they're open and block opening of uh, detected files. On Linux, it's uh, implemented using FA Notify. And on Windows, it's implemented using our own driver, which is based on file system filter. Uh, modular. Uh, why? Because, in fact, analysis is not completely integrated and locked into the uh, core of the antivirus. It's done with modules, which are plug-in, which can be dynamically loaded, written in C yet, and that they use a small API, which mainly four function, load, configure, scan a file, and unload. We support yet four modules. One uses libclamav uh, and clamav signature. You all probably know the clamav antivirus, which is kind of historical antivirus on Linux. We also support Yara. Yara is both a scan engine and a format for extended signature. It's a project that is uh, backed by Virus Total and which is very active and which is probably offers more extension with respect to Clamav. But we also have two, uh, I mean, our own modules. One is a heuristic module for classifying PE and ELF binaries, and another one is a an, um, heuristic module for classification of PDF, which uh, PDF documents being a well known. Uh, infection support. And the future is uh, will offer a possibility to write scan mo analysis modules in uh, Python and probably also the Go language. Uh, we support two uh, user interfaces. A first very lightweight one which uh, runs only in the notification area, the SysTray and uh, which shows only notifications, that is uh, mainly uh, when a uh, file was uh, blocked by the real-time um, protection or when uh, database was up updated and so on. And a full interface, which is in fact web-based, it's uh, developed using AngularJS. It uh, interfaces with a small uh, HTTP server which is embedded into the antivirus and communicates with the REST API. And by the way, the user interface, you have a small screenshot at the left of the, of the slide. Um, what is quite new uh, with respect to uh, open source antivirus is that we offer a central console for management. That is, when you are in an organization or an enterprise, it's very helpful 
to uh, have a central point where you can know what all the antivirus deployed on your Windows or Linux machines are doing. If they have done uh, detection, if there is some uh, database update problem, things like that. So we have an interface which is based on GLPI. GLPI is a software which is supported by TechLib and it's an asset management system which is uh, often used, for instance, in education where you have to manage a large park of uh, various and heterogeneous machines. And it's based also on Fusion Inventory, which is an uh, inventory agent deployed on all the machines of your uh, computing environment. It allows to upload to the central server the uh, inventory of the machine. And we have a management interface for the antivirus, which is integrated into this uh, architecture. So that, for instance, when you have an, if you go to the tab uh, where you have a list of all the recent detections of all the computers, and when you click on a detection, you know automatically all the inventory information, for instance, the person to contact, where is the computer located, is the system up to date, and so on and so on. And uh, what we are going to do next, well, as soon as possible, um, recently we are going to make a Linux release very soon. Uh, we have a PPA on a Launchpad. And we'll, we don't have right now a Windows installer, and it's a plan for the next month. Uh, we need, of course, more testing, documentation, but other stuff, we would like to re-implement the current uh, heuristic module for bi binary scan and probably integrate it in a better way with the uh, Yara rules. And as I said, to provide API to allow people to integrate modules, scan modules, written in Python and Go. Uh, why this? Because when you analyze quite complex file format or when you unpack or when you run whatever analysis on a file, if a file is deliberately ill-formed or if there is a vulnerability in the scan module, if it's a C or a C++ based scan module, it can also uh, obviously drive to a memory uh, corruption and maybe exploit. And if you exploit the scan module, then you exploit the antivirus the antivirus runs with a high, uh, uh, sorry, at, uh, is it run as a, as a root and with administration uh, rights. So you can either get rid of the antivirus or exploit the machine. So having more secure language like Python on Go would allow to have more security when uh, hosting uh, scan modules. And this, this is related to something else I'm going to talk very soon about. Other issues, uh, of course, code quality. We try to run a coverage uh, test and uh, uh, very recently passed uh, Sonar Cube analysis. Uh, Irma, Irma is um, it's developed by a French company. It's an Virus Total open source equivalent. That it is, it's a, a web interface to scan files uh, using many antivirus and have the results presented more or less the same way as Virus Total. So we'll provide an IRMA plugin that allows to uh, scan files with Armadito. But we also would like to enter Virus Total and AV Caesar, which is another version, uh, another uh, uh, Virus Total like website, uh, for several reasons. First of all, well, to be well known, and second, to have access to the uh, samples provided by Virus Total. But there are still some interesting issues. Uh, if we compare with uh, other uh, proprietary antivirus, we have a huge memory full print problem. Uh, usually an antivirus, uh, proprietary antivirus, you have a kind of 100 megabytes memory full, full, footprint. 
Uh, we run approximately up to 450 megabytes, which is obviously too high, and this is highly related to the Klamav module. And we don't know how precisely to fix that now. We have some idea, but the problem is quite complex. Then the question of sandboxing. As I explained earlier, when you run a scan on a file, uh, if the scan code has a vulnerability, you may use that to exploit uh, the antivirus, and to compromise the antivirus, and, of course, the complete machine. So one solution is to implement the scan algorithm using more secure languages. But the other solution is to run the scan inside a sandbox. That is, if by accident the scan crashes or has a memory corruption, then you just throw away the sandbox, consider that the file is dangerous, and you're guaranteed that it won't compromise the whole machine. Of course, this is uh, quite difficult to implement in a portable way. Uh, basically, on Linux, it will be seccomp plus BPF. On Windows, we will probably take a lot of inspiration from the browser's sandbox, but it's a kind of uh, uh, complicated job to interface, to uh, implement. And um, another issue is how to have good Signature, signature with codes, because in fact, Yara rules, for instance, are more complicated than signature. They can be some kind of complex logical expression, including operators and extensible modules. But the problem is, is how to produce these rules. And we don't have, obviously, hundreds of uh, little hands analyzing in real time uh, thousand or hundreds of thousands of files coming from the internet. We don't have the resources to pay them. And uh, so uh, how to do that? Well, uh, there are two solutions. For the the long-term solution is have an automated process of analyzing collected malwares coming from uh, whatever mean, uh, honeypots, uh, spam, and so on, or community, and for instance, through the IRMA uh, site, and uh, automatically produce rules for recognizing these uh, malwares. But it's a point where, for instance, a community could help by providing uh, world uh, uh, scale collection, collection of malwares. Right now, the Steam team is quite small. Well, the whole team is there. <laughs> uh, so if you're interested in uh, security, antivirus, and uh, collecting malware for your own purpose, no, 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 please. <laughs> uh, well, you're uh, welcome to join us. The project is uh, uh, young and it has a lot of interesting uh, features to develop. Where to find us? We are on GitHub. We have some documentation on read the docs. And uh, you can talk to us on uh, Jitter but also on Freenode. There is a channel called Armadito. Okay. Uh, we have a PPA and we have uh, now a forum which was uh, installed last week. It's uh, forum.armadito.org. Thanks for the talk. Do we have a quick question, someone? We have just the time for a very quick question. Yeah. Hello, everybody. And, uh, uh, I want to add something about uh, the centralized management system. In fact, uh, we told you that we can manage our antivirus, but in fact, we can manage Kasperky antivirus, and this is an open source solution for managing multiple antivirus uh, on the same infrastructure. So we centralize alerts from different antivirus uh, in a open source <coughs> solution, and you, you can add your antivirus uh, uh, to the system. 
Thanks for the precision. Let's applaud the speaker. Thank you.